Well, uh, next up on stage is um, a person that means a lot to me. Uh, he's a really good friend of mine, and uh, I heard some of the stuff he said last night, and it was amazing. It, all, it made a lot of people cry as well. He is so heartwarming, so touching, so honest, so true to himself, and today he's going to he's gonna share with you some of his life experiences that changed him, and maybe will change you too. So I call to the stage, Mr. Fritz Mueller. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. I can hear the phone calling for me in a depressing tone. But you know me, I'm ignorant, so I still pick up. Hello? Hello, son. Immediate silence echoes throughout the room. I thought I hated you. I thought you were unworthy of my love. Hello? Hello, son. All air left my lungs. I spent hours procrastinating and practicing what the hell I would say to you, Dad. Yelling and screaming would have been my first. Hello? Hello, son. It feels like my life is a game, so then like Malik Wright, get mad at you and give you a nice knuckle sandwich to the face. But hearing, hello, son. Man, I couldn't handle this. Hello? Hello, son. But none of these things actually occurred. More like me being confused and disturbed, wondering why all this time you finally decided to give me a call. Seems as 12 years of silence. Come on, Dad, it meant nothing at all. When you respond to my, hello? Hello, son. With all this confusion, I had to grab a grip because honestly, my tears, my tears made me want to lose it. Thoughts of him being involved in my life was a beautiful, beautiful, but stupid conclusion. When I go, hello, hello, son. Dad, why did you have to do this? I swear if I break down right here, I might just lose it. Hello, hello, son. I want you to be here right now. I see beside my mom at the backstage. Hi, mom. I love you. And just cheering me on, but your pain is terminal. Dad, I need you so much. Hello? Hello, son. Dad, why can't you be happy with the family? One you can share the same space. I'm always trying to get you off my mind, man, but I can't get you off my face. Spent a while asking questions like, did you even think about me? Did you love me? Did your mom, did you know mom thinks that I'm just like you? Just like thee? You just I'm a grown ass man going off to university. Hello? Hello, son. Now I'm weak and I'm about to stop on stage in a louder tone. I have your number, but all I can do is cry to the unanswered dial tone. Hello? Hello, son. I love you, Dad. Please. Please don't go. Press one. So uh, this one I wrote was when I was on the bus and I seen this sweet, sweet girl. Oh my God, she was so, so pretty. I was just like, damn. <laughs> Damn, she was on the make believe. Yeah. So yeah, I dedicate this one to her. So as I'm sitting on the bus, I see this girl walk up the aisle and pass me by. So sweet, she made me turn around to look at that big, beautiful smile. <laughs> Anyways, that smile, she got me crushing on her, you see? She makes me want to take a big bite from her divine fruit and tell her how sweet and how fulfilling it is to me. So sweet, if she really wanted me to, I would cheat. On my diet, that is. <laughs> See, she's so sweet, I get these mental satisfactions of us being old together and having a billion kids. Since I feel more comfortable with you guys, let me tell you, one of my deepest fears is actually to close my eyes because it's so dark inside and I need it right there because she's my light. And just like Tom, she got me singing, I never knew a la 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 a la like this. I had to be something for me to write this. Cause Queen, I ain't seen you in a minute. And I wrote this poem. Finally, I'm gonna say it and read it. Because of her, I hate to blink. Because of her, I just look at her and she makes my heart sing. But let me tell you how it went. I know it sounds so corny, Shadi, but you're so sweet, you make my teeth ache. So I finally told her I liked her and I asked, hey, baby girl, would you mind a date? She's like, you know, boy, you're sweet and everything, I'd love to, but I got a man. And all you can hear was my heartbreak. Crunch, crunch, like hard candy in her mouth. Yeah, the sweetness got to me, no doubt. Mama always told me to stay away from the sweetest cause, like my teeth eventually hurt and break me down. But then again, I'm persistent. I, I consistent. I'm just like, I'm gonna scream and scream and I'm gonna be so loud till my lungs collapse. Just please, baby girl, you're so sweet. Notice me, please. Thank you.
All right, give it up one more time for Fred.